Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper here with Amber Howell and it is Tell All Tuesday. Tell All Tuesday. And when I was thinking about Tell All Tuesday, you know, we've got a new intern. We do. But you haven't met him yet. Yeah, I have. Yes, once. you did. Yes, mm -hmm. you did once. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. Walker the intern. And I say that because I have a grandson, Walker. Uh huh. And now it's Walker the intern to, to keep him straight. Because when I'm talking to my wife, I'll say, Walker said this, or Walker did this. And she'll say, which one? <laughs> but anyway, I was talking, Walker did some filming for me recently. And I was talking to him, and he was talking, he loves movies. Mm -hmm. Loves. Which I don't, so he's a very good, like, supplement well, to add the, to the group. It, it's it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like that, and then you're up on all the buzz stuff. Pop culture. Pop culture from your yeah. generation. Yeah. And then there's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yeah, we've got the age gap. But. Pretty large. I was talking to him, I said, uh. Indiana Jones, you know, comes out. And he said, yeah. He said, I'm uh, watching all the early ones. Uh -huh. And I said, you've never seen an Indiana Jones movie before? And he said, maybe the first one. Uh -huh. So, have you ever seen? No. None of them? No. <laughs> well, that's that, Harrison <laughs> Ford. And that's that. That's all we have to say. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> well, and then he added, he said, I'm also watching all the Mission Impossible movies because Tom Cruise has a new Mission Impossible movie coming mm -hmm. out. You know us next, don't you? Mm -hmm. I do know the next question, and you know the answer. <laughs> but it just fascinated me that he was going back and watching, watching everything, them. getting ready mm -hmm. for the new, the new version. Yeah. And... I went to, when I went to the movies last weekend. Mm -hmm. Guess what I saw the trailer to? The Hunger Games prequel. Yep, I'm excited about that. Songbirds and the uh, oh my gosh! Uh, all right, now this is your expertise right here. The ballad. The ballad of song. Ballad of songbirds and song. Ballad of song. But it looks. Like it's the Hunger Games, yeah, but just meaner. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. Car my my roommate Carmen, uh, my old roommate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, Cody, your new Cody's roommate. my roommate now. <laughs> um, Carmen and I rewatched the Hunger Games recently. See, and you're like Walker. You're getting in preparation for it, right? You know, I you know this about me. I was like a Hunger Games like diehard fan. Did you know that? I did know that. And also Twilight. How would I know? I was, like, just, <laughs> I was just thinking in my mind, also Twilight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those were like my two, only two personality traits when they came out in that era. Like that's all I was known for. Do you remember who directed most of the Twilight movies? Did... Um, it was a female director. Was it Elizabeth Banks? No, it was Catherine Hardwick. Oh, was Elizabeth Banks? Um, no, Elizabeth Banks was in Hunger Games. Did she direct Pitch Perfect? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sir. Yeah. But Catherine Hardwick crazy. directed some of the Twilight movies. I don't know if she did them all or not. But this new movie that I saw called The Prisoner's Daughter mm -hmm. that I went crazy over and just loved, she directed it. Oh. So it's glad to see that Where, she's. What platform is Prisoner's Daughter on? It's in movie theaters. Oh, it's in the theaters. Okay. Yes. yes. Kate Beckinsale. Okay. My buddy Kate. Yeah, Beckinsale. your your buddy Kate. I mean, me and Kate. And listen, this sound, this is sounds so stupid on my part. Get ready for this. Okay, I'm ready. It, I put up my review of Kate Beckinsale's Prisoner's Daughter mm -hmm. up on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold. Oh boy. Kate Beckinsale liked it. The real Kate Beckinsale? I thought it was. Uh-huh. <laughs> it wasn't? Gotcha, Jackie. But I'm serious. Got your hopes up. And no, I, I, it made me mad. <laughs> because but because I, she she liked it and, and said, you know, sent me, you know, put up a little comment about, you know, oh, I'm so excited you like my movie uh -huh. and everything. And so I, I wrote back and made a comment and said, I've been a fan for years. And then she said, private message me. That's how you know it's not real. Ah! 
They got you, Jackie. No, you know what? If, what messes me up? What? The blue check. The blue check. Did it have one? No, they don't okay. do it anymore. Oh, that's right. That's right. They, you know, some people pay and have a blue check. Yeah. But it. And guess who? I heard from right after I heard from Kate. Who? Jennifer Aniston. Oh, wrote did me. you, Miss Miss Aniston? Yes. You're getting up there, Jackie. It it angered me. Yeah. Just gotta it, keep an eye out. But yeah, click yeah. on their page and see At how many followers they how have. How many followers they have? If their bio makes sense. But I clicked on Kate Beckinsale or whatever whoever this person was. And it had pictures of her with her mother. It had pictures of her with her dog. I mean. Gotcha. But what do they get out of that? Making people mad, apparently. Or making people look stupid. <laughs> One or the other. Yeah. Or both. <laughs> but I'm serious. Have you heard of? Yeah. Oh, People. My. Yes. People impersonate celebrities all the time. That is terrible. Mm -hmm. And they put up pictures of the celebrity as if it were them. Yeah. Happens. <laughs> got, you just That's gotta, a lot of consolation coming out of yeah. you. It happens. It happens. You just got to get it. I'm just kidding. You just can't be stupid get enough over it. to fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's, here's my advice. Ah, the next here we go. Advice tweet. from Amber. Advice from Amber. The next time you we get now it, start a regular feature. The, advice from Amber. Yes, we should. Hey, uh, on the... Podcast. Podcast. Do they know about that yet? Not yet. All right. For another story. Because we don't know that yet. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Advice from Amber. Amber. Part one. When, the next time you get a tweet from Miss Aniston, just click on her and her Twitter handle and take a um, review her her page and see if it's if it looks legitimate. Quick glance well, and then I you should know. I hate to tell you, I did look at the page. And it got you still. It still got me because it was her and her mother. And I thought, she wouldn't fake a mother. Then you should Google, is does Kate Beckinsale have Twitter? Oh. And then you'll get your answer. Well, now I've got Kate and Jennifer. Kate and Jennifer. I mean, Kate, Jennifer, and Jackie, besties. I mean, there we are. <laughs> you know, hey, Kate Beckinsale's my friend. They're hanging out next week. Yep, yep. You know, getting mm -hmm. lunch. I don't know if she has a British accent this time. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> But anyway, on a serious note. Okay. Okay. Got to bring the mood back Bringing down. it down. Okay. There is a movie out. I think it started last weekend. But it's called The Sounds of Freedom. Uh-huh. And it stars Jim Caviezel. Okay. Do you know who he is? Yeah. All right. Did you ever hear of a movie called The Passion of the Christ? Yes. Jim Caviezel played Christ in that, okay. in that movie. And he's, he's a very serious actor and a very good actor. But he's made this movie called Sounds of Freedom. It's based on a true story of a Homeland Security officer, I think it's Homeland Security, named Tim Ballard. And he is employed to fight the child sex trafficking system. Okay. And it was, it was the most intense movie I think I have ever watched. Did you... Did you review it yeah, and write my, it? My review's posted already. So, I, I mean, we just, you know, sometimes I think, you know, I live here in Perry and it's just like I live in a little dome uh -huh. that, you know, separate. It was horrendous. You know, and I, and I was telling my wife, I said, I want to tell people they need to see it, uh -huh. but I hate to recommend it because it is so intense. Uh -huh. But, and at the end, they quote statistics of how many children are involved in that. And then it's, they say it's like a $150 billion industry. Industry? Industry. People, the child sex trafficking industry, you know. Wow. It's, it was it really did hit home. I mean, not, not that I know anything about that. I've been aware of it. You know, you read the statistics and you see it on the news or, or whatever. But and just to see, uh, because in the movie, this Jim Caviezel's character becomes almost obsessed with this 
father in Honduras who had two children, and they are both abducted. Mm -hmm. And the way they're abducted is this the little girl who's like 11 years old, she loves to sing, and she's singing somewhere, and, and this woman hears her, and she comes, and she said, oh, she's so talented, and she's so pretty, I think she could have a career, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, and so she comes to the house. The, father, the mother's not in the picture. The father's raising the children. And he, she, she's talking to him about his 11-year-old, 12-year-old daughter and what talent she has and everything. And then her brother walks in. He's seven. And she said, oh, you know, when you come to my office next week, bring him too. And so he... he takes the two children to this place where they're going to take, they say, she said, we'll take pictures and we'll tape them and we can see, you know, I can represent them. As they get there, and I'm not giving away the whole movie because this is very stark, but they get there and there are all these other children there and he starts in to come into the room and she said, no, no, no stage parents. She said, just come back and pick them up in two hours. Mm. He goes back in two hours, the building's deserted. They are gone. Scariest thing in the world. I can't even imagine. I can't either. Is it, did you say it's based on a true, true story? story? Yes. But the whole movie is about his obsession with these two children and trying his best to get them back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's an important film and, you know, people should be aware of it and learn from it mm -hmm. because it is, it is serious. How about that for a how, how about that? We were, we were way up here. We and were we way, were way up here. there getting advice from Amber and now we're <laughs> here. Right here. But I just felt like I needed to pass the word on. Yeah. Right. Well, we appreciate it. But anyway, this has been Jackie K. Cooper with Amber Howell.